So, Drew Brees, who Drew Brees, I'm sorry, who is the quarterback of the New Orleans Saints, made a statement. I think it was about the riots. Um, in an interview, he basically said that I'll never agree with people disrespecting the flag. typical prideful white American you rather talk about what you perceive as disrespect but isn't disrespect nobody's disrespecting the flag you rather talk about people disrespecting the flag than the fact that there are minority constituents in this country being treated like fucking animals less than animals killed and murdered in cold blood mistreated in, in all of the injustices that we face as black people systemic racism, institutional racism you rather talk about a flag and how you feel like the flag that your grandfather who was in the army fought for, you rather talk about somebody disrespecting a fucking flag the people who govern this country is disrespecting that flag because they're not even upholding the principles that that flag supposedly stands for. I think the blue stripes or the the the, I mean the white stripes, not because this there's not no blue stripes, but the white stripes or the red stripes, one of them stands for justice. What justice are black people getting? We never received that. You talk about, oh, my grandfather, he fought for this country and made sacrifices for this country. Yeah, well, guess what? Black folk sacrificed their fucking lives, too, and came back to a country that didn't appreciate them, didn't welcome them with open arms, didn't honor them, didn't respect them, deprived them of economic, uh, financial, health care, education deprived them of all those things they didn't get any veteran compensation or get the benefits that the white vets receive we sacrificed our lives for a country that don't even fucking respect us we don't make sacrifices our ancestors made sacrifices out there you know working to save the country money that's how the country profited they didn't have to pay workers we was providing them with free labor. And we ain't get no labor conversation. We still ain't get no reparations for building this fucking country that you love so much. Out there on the railroads, all day, all night, blood, sweat, and tears. Working on the railroads, train tracks. Providing this country with transportation. Building homes and houses that we couldn't live in. Out on the motherfucking fields. We had our pregnant. Uh, our black women. Who were pregnant. On a fucking hot 100 degrees. Field for hours at a time. And they were underfed. Undernourished. Couldn't even be hydrated. Wasn't even given water when they asked for it. And if they did the slightest thing to get on a slave master's nerve or showed any form of rebellion, they were shot down like a fucking, like they weren't even human. In front of their family, in front of their loved ones, in front of their, we, we, we were separated from our brothers and sisters, our loved ones. Hung from trees. Raped, burned, beaten, had our skulls axed thin. And you want about a sacrifice? And we got foreigner, foreigners coming over here, they get more fucking respect than we do. We made sacrifices for this country and built this country and, and not even respected for it. We treated as second class citizens. I ain't gotten any, any sort of reparation yet. 
have always been deprived of of financial equal financial assistance and and equal education had to deal with the Jim Crow laws wasn't allowed because of segregation wasn't, wasn't allowed on buses had to sit to the top sit to the back wasn't free to do what we want and live freely in our country that we fought for and that we built when you telling us we 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 don't get the free the opportunities that y'all get we got to sit to the back of the bus we can't eat at any other in, in any restaurant we choose we can't drink from any fountain we choose we can't receive the same level of education that y'all receive why not And you want to talk about a flag? Well, let's talk about this flag. Like I said, this this flag is is uh, uh, represents a country of murderers who enslaved the people and deprived people and dehumanized them and marginalized them for fucking years. Murderers, criminals. That's 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 what that's what this flag uh, represents. Francis Key Scott and that bullshit anthem. He was a motherfucker. He didn't uphold those 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 principles and values of the flag. Or the, with, with the name, what he wrote in the national anthem because he owned slaves. The founding fathers that we love so much owned slaves. But this is what you rather use your, your platform and talk about. You rather use your platform to talk about a fucking flag. Because you're just a white American. See, you don't have to worry about uh, your sons being pulled over and shot down and killed. They're not at risk of being pulled over and shot down and killed because they are, the color is perceived as a threat. Because police officers and law enforcement have these um, stupid, ignorant, preconceived notions about them because of their the, the color of their skin. You don't have to worry about that. Your sons don't have to worry about that. So because it's not impacting you, you don't fucking care. You like, fuck it. it. Ain't got nothing to do with me and my people. You reaping the benefits of our hard work. The reason that whites are so well off today is because of the the, the injustices that black people had to face yesterday. Even through redlining, we couldn't even build our communities or, you know, create wealth for ourselves because we wasn't even given any 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 mortgage uh, uh, loans and housing assistance through, through through redlining. Even if we qualify for certain financial benefits, we were deprived of them because of the color of our of our skin. They will mark off black neighborhoods and, you know, if, if you go to a, 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 um, you know, housing company and you requested a loan for a house, you wouldn't get approved simply because you were black. A Brown versus Board of Education? Never heard of that. We had to fight just to be educated in, in, in this society. We have been treated as second class citizens and treated as less than since the the, the like the, the genesis of this, this country, since we came over here. Y'all took us from Africa, brought brought us over here. Y'all fucking y'all fucking stole from the this not even your fucking land. That's not even your fucking land. Y'all stole this land from the motherfucking uh, Native Americans. Came over here, the colonists invaded this fucking country. Committed a racial genocide wiping out the fucking Native Americans and the and, 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 and indigenous people of this land with fucking smallpox and all these other nasty filthy diseases that y'all brought from Europe that they didn't have an immunity to and they didn't have a vaccination for so they died out all of them and the ones that didn't die because of a, a, a fucking disease they died because y'all killed them and you murdered them and their families 
van ransack their fucking uh, uh, villages, vandalize their villages. You murdered and killed them in cold blood. That's what you always did. Y'all stacked us at the bottom of motherfucking ships. And the, 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 the hot, sweaty bottom and basement of, of we, we had, we was in, in fucking, we was stacked in there. And in fucking hot ass ships, half of us died. During the Atlantic slave trade when y'all was bringing us over here. Y'all didn't even feed us when y'all brought us over. Y'all treated us like shit. We were sweaty, hot, suffocating, wasn't giving food on fucking ships for days at a time without water. We were shitting and pissing. Our women was, was dripping blood from their fucking vaginas. Pregnant women lost their babies and had miscarriages on the mother the, for the fucking ships. This is the pain that we had to endure. This is the hurt that we're still holding on to. This is the mis the mistreatment that we have to deal with. That's what we're protesting about. We want a change and we want a difference. We want to be treated as an equal. Because we deserve the right to be. We deserve that right. Because we built this fucking country. And you reaping the benefits. You're a beneficiary of our hard work. You can thank us. But you care about a fucking flag. Well those are the things that your flag represents. Partner. Fuck you in that fucking fraudulent ass motherfucking flag. Can't believe her. I can't believe her. But this is what, you know, white races do. They, they don't care. They don't care that law about police brutality and the fact that, you know, you got law enforcement behaving. These, these nefarious and evil, cold blooded criminal. Uh, you know, acts from law enforcement and things they, they they don't care about that. It's not their concern because it doesn't impact them and the people close to them and their loved ones. It don't impact me. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know, they don't have a struggle. You know. So he he can't relate, and you know all he is is concerned about is someone disrespecting the flag, and he about he th he thinks about his father, yeah, but you don't think about the black vets. That's the problem. You're only thinking about your grandfather. You don't think about what black people had to suffer and had to endure because it's not a concern for you. I don't even know why you're even bringing up the flag. You know, but you're not talking about uh, the the issue at hand. You're not talking about what's causing all this outrage because you don't want to face it. You don't want to face it, and it's not a concern for you. You just it, it doesn't matter to you. How could you overlook this type of shit? How could you overlook some evil shit like this? You got black men are being killed in cold blood, shot in the head for no reason. Unarmed black men being killed day in and day out by law enforcement for absolutely no other reason than being black. And you don't give a fuck about that. About these evil and egregious acts. You don't give a fuck that humans are being killed and having our li their lives snatched up the way unnecessarily. And police are using excessive and unnecessary force. And you don't give a fuck about that. There definitely needs to be some motherfucking police reform or something. Like like something has to give. But the government, like I said yesterday, the other day, they're not going to put that foot down. 
they're going to continue to let them get away and do whatever the fuck they want to do and get away with murder. And that's the reason why police are going to continue to do it, because they know that, that there is no repercussions and ramifications that they have to face for the fuck shit that they do. I'm just I'm just over it, man. There ain't going to be no change. You know, there ain't going to be no change. Our ancestors fought, 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 and even lost our lives during the civil rights movement. So many of us fought so that we can have economic opportunity. And so these injustices that exist today wouldn't exist, and we're still going through it. Martin Luther King wasted all his his these speeches and his efforts to make a change, to fight for equality, and didn't get none out of it. Ain't nothing changed. It's fucked up.